Hi, friends, and welcome to our latest edition of Keeping Up with the Jackrabbits. I'm Tyler Miriam, and it is a true joy to be joined by a former member of the Jackrabbit men's basketball program, a uh, young man from Sioux Falls who is back in Sioux Falls, the one and only Keaton Moffitt. Keaton, how goes it? Doing great, Tyler. Doing absolutely great. Um, thanks for having me on. It's always a pleasure to get to talk with um, you know, my former jackrabbit people. Let's go back a little bit in time because your story is so unique for those who don't know. Uh, you started at the University of Sioux Falls, and it was an unfortunate physical situation that led you to South Dakota State. Would you rehash that for me? Yeah, sure. So, you know, right out of high school, um, I ended up going to University of Sioux Falls. Um, at about six games into my freshman year there, um, and I was starting, you know, as a true freshman there. Um, I broke my back, and it, you know, as a season-ending injury, um, and it was a kind of a tough rehab all the way. It took about seven, eight months to get back, and then, um, you know, I just, I, I kind of went from uh, doing that, and then I got got myself back into the starting role. Um, there but you know it just wasn't the right place for me and um I also you know was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life and you know that combination of you know pharmacy and basketball and then actually just you know kind of seeing the Jacks play in the NCAA tournament you know that was a big thing for me I remember sitting in my dorm room watching them play and they had played Michigan at the time and I was like man that's that's got to be some kind of feeling to be you know, be there and be a part of that. And, you know, that's, that was another big thing for me that kind of sparked my um, kind of go get it attitude to go, you know, I, I wanted to do that. And so that's what I decided to go try for. Uh, you came up to Brookings, had to redshirt yep. because of the transfer situation, uh, right. and then you ended up with two years uh, playing for the Jacks. That 2014-15 season, your first you got to play, uh, you played a, a pivotal role on a team that actually won a game in the NIT, the first postseason win in yep. Division One. What do you remember about that? Oh, I mean, that first year was crazy. You know, I, I went from, you know, I thought maybe I'd get some minutes after my redshirt year, worked really hard, put on quite a few pounds, you know, of muscle to get kind of ready to go. And then um, I didn't play at all for about the first four or five games of that year. And then um, Coach Nagy, they, we, we were, weren't doing the best. And so they thought maybe they needed some help at the point guard position at that time. So he called my number. Um, and it, ironically, it was in Sioux Falls at the Sanford Pentagon. We played Florida Gulf Coast. And that was, you know, that was kind of the start of my my journey as a jackrabbit and getting to play. Um, and then, yeah, we just had a great year. Kind of, we just kept it rolling after that. And, you know, getting to the NIT and then finally getting that, we were an eight seed in the NIT playing against Colorado State. And we, you know, we came to play, we knew we could, you know, play with those guys. And, um, you know, it was just an amazing experience. We got out of, um, you know, we got, got to Colorado State after that game. I remember, you know, everyone was just so hyped. And then we got to go to Vanderbilt and play. I mean, it was just a fun, fun experience. I, I would, couldn't say anything more about it other than I had a blast doing it. Well, and that next year, which was your senior year, you know, you talked earlier about watching the Jacks play in the NCAA tournament and wanting to experience that feeling. One of the more memorable games for you, at least in my mind, is that championship game of the Summit League tournament against North Dakota State. You had 11 points and seven rebounds to help get SDSU back to the NCAA tournament. And again, yep. like you said earlier, doing it in your hometown of Sioux Falls had to be incredibly special. Absolutely. And I, I like I, I even said in the, you know, the post game press conference after that championship game, you know, I think it was the happiest I'd ever been in my entire life. And it's it's it was surreal. I still like every time I go to the Sanford Premier Center, I get goosebumps like that place is just going to always be special to me, um, specifically because of, you know, that tournament, the cardiac jacks is, is what they called us. Uh, Every game came down to the wire. It's amazing that we were able to even get out of there alive. But yeah, that whole experience was unbelievable. I can't, I mean, just goosebumps just thinking about it. Well, you wanted to play in an NCAA tournament. It was the, the last time you got to play as a Jackrabbit was against Maryland. Uh, what was that experience like? That was unbelievable as well. I mean, 
I we got off the plane there, and you know they kind of treat you like royalty when you're in that tournament. Everything is you know just laid out. You get little gift bags, everything, and um, you know just the hype in general around the tournament is unlike anything I've ever been a part of. Um, you know, and we had a heck of a team going into that. I I obviously wish we could have um, you know advanced on, but you know it didn't go our way there. But um, yeah. I have nothing but amazing things to say about, you know, the NCAA tournament. It was everything that I had hoped for and more. You brought up, Keaton, that part of the reason you came to SDSU was your interest in pharmacy. So walk me through why that is a passion for you, and and then it ties into what you're doing right now. Right. So um, pharmacy, you know, it wasn't always on my radar. Um I just, I knew I wanted to do something in the medical field and I wasn't really sure what that was. So I did some shadowing and kind of did different, um, you know, went shadowed a physician assistant, shadowed a physical therapist, pharmacist. And I just, I ended up liking the pharmacy route. Um, And so I decided I was going to pursue that and I got um, accepted my first year up at um, SDSU and, you know, the rest is kind of history. The the hardest part for me was I, and I get asked this quite a bit is, you know, how I was able to juggle both um, pharmacy and basketball at the same time. And that is something I can't always answer. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, but I also wouldn't trade those memories I had playing ball for anything in the world. And so what are you doing right now? So right now I'm uh, working as a pharmacist at Lewis drug. Um, I work at, the 12th and Kiwanis location um, in Sioux Falls, and it's right down by the zoo. So if you ever need a prescription, uh, bring it down to me, and I'll get you taken care of. <laughs> and uh, and we need to give a, a little shout out to Kenzie as well. Oh yeah, absolutely. My wife, she is working. Um, she's with Avera, and she's um, does OB guy and stuff as a in the physician assistant group. So um, and she's doing an excellent job there. She's uh, kind of going up the ranks and having a good time. Um, she seems to really enjoy her job. And so I'm very happy for her there. And, uh, you know, they've been a little bit affected by this whole COVID thing, but um, they've, now they're starting to pick things back up. So did you seriously call it ob Yeah. What do you want me to call it? I've always <laughs> heard it OB-GYN. Well, yeah, I guess. I just call it OB because it's OB like it's slash o- yeah, OBGYN, OB Gyne. Yeah, the gynecology. <laughs> well, yeah, yes, I, I'm aware of what. Thank you very little. Um, <laughs> all right, so you're still involved in this program. You're working down in Sioux Falls. Uh, yep. What's the What's the future have in store here? As much as you can predict in these times, what does the yeah, future have know, in store? The The future right now, you know, I'm pretty content with where I'm at. Um, I I just am trying to you know, hone my skills, be the best pharmacist I can be, help patients in any way I can. Um, but yeah, I'm just, as of right now, I'm just trying to take it one day at a time. We did just move into a house um, in the east side of Sioux Falls, and that's been super exciting for us. Uh, I'm starting to become kind of that weird guy that pays too much attention to his lawn, but you know, that's fine. <laughs> you, okay, sprinkler, you, sprinkler systems going all the push time. Push mower, riding mower, what oh. are we using? I got a push mower right now, and I actually got an electric one. And oh. people, people think I'm crazy, but it's uh, if the if, you know if it makes it through the whole lawn, it's pretty nice. No gas, no oil. It's just it's smooth. You're gonna you know? you're gonna roll that baseball across it, and it's gonna go nice and smooth. Or do we have to? Well, I, I was telling somebody, you know, I think the Boston Red Sox wants their groundskeeper back <laughs> because that's how. <laughs> Oh, I love the humbleness about the yard, my friend. You you are so humble in every other avenue, and here we are bragging about being a a groundskeeper when it comes to the grass. You you know, it's the one thing that I'm pretty proud of. (laughs) We we all have something to hang our hat on, and I'm glad we found that. Well, Keaton, uh, it is always good to to catch up. We really got to find a way to do this more often, but uh, glad that uh, you're doing so well, and, uh, and I know I speak for all of Jackrabbit Nation. It's great to hear from you, and we wish you nothing but the best in the future. Thanks a lot, Tyler. I really appreciate it. Like you said, I loved every minute of being a Jackrabbit, and now I will never not, you know, I'll never stop supporting them. So keep in touch. I hope to hear from you again, and I hope we can do this again soon. Thank you for joining us for our latest edition of Keeping Up with the Jackrabbits.